Hey everyone, welcome oh, once no. again to One Coin Only. Finally getting off to another show today. It's been a big weekend and I'm sorry I haven't been around, but I just had to pay the bills. What's important is we're back now, guys. And now we're going to double Konami stream today. We're going to be playing Sunset Riders and Bucky O'Hare's fun, uh, fun shooters. They're kind of, uh, it's kind of a strange genre. I like their shooters. They kind of play the same way as, I guess you could say, a side-scrolling beat-em-up. I mean, these games are pretty unique. Sunset Riders is a bit more clear-cut, play similar to, like, Rolling Thunder, Shinobi, it's all-time classic, whereas Bucky O'Hare is a shooter that feels like a beat-em-up. It's very unique. Um, you guys will see for yourselves. We're going to have some fun today. Um, get through both these games. It should take us probably about an hour to an hour and a half tops to get through both these games. Uh, both are pretty casual, uh, but fun. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to sharing with you. Just finish this little intro here. Got the comics loaded up for when all our friends enter. And here we go. We're going to start with the first one, guys. Sunset Riders. <laughs> I'm going to play pretty casually today. I'll probably die a lot if I keep reading your comments, but I don't mind. And, uh, should we use Billy or Bob? Might use Bob. I haven't used Bob in a little while. There we go. Get into it now. And now's not the time for a drink, buddy. <laughs> It's interesting, you pick up things like food and stuff, but I think it's only points in this, because it's, wow, oh, if you don't you get shot, it's like one shot kills in this. So the food's kind of meaningless, unless you're one of those guys that chase uh, high scores and things like that. I do like that the score system in this uh, works more on a monetary based system, so it kind of makes it a little bit more addictive to build up a score, which is a, a nice little, uh, little gimmick, I guess, so to speak. No more. Sometimes there's a couple extras that come down. Right, get away from that. Fire in the hole. Right. Still a little sleepy from the weekend. It's been so busy, so I apologise if I look a little bit wrecked. <laughs> Hopefully we'll build up some energy as the day goes on with these streams. I can't wait till I get to do this stuff full time. Time guys, I'd rather dedicate my time to you than the stupid music industry, that's for sure. <laughs> anyway, carrying on. It's actually funny because I find this version of uh, Sunset Riders easier than the Super Nintendo version. I, I try to. Uh, I tried to get into the Super Nintendo version actually, it just wasn't for me. The controls just felt a little bit stiff in comparison. I keep forgetting about those falling barrels, damn it. There we go, we moved out of the way this time. Hopefully we only lose one life for this boss. <laughs> once uh, you remove you know, those barrels, you're generally pretty good. You're just gonna keep moving side to side. Just basic ducking and weaving here. got the sucker. <laughs> Marry me with my money. Very good. With my money. Yeah, you're getting cashed up now. Also, a big happy Monday to all our friends in the United States. I hope you're not working uh too hard today. I know Monday is a very, very hard day of the week. <laughs> so, hoping you guys are all okay today. Get through it all right. Looking forward to uh, Monday Night Raw tonight. If you're a wrestling fan, 25th anniversary should be really, really awesome. But Monday's not going to be all bad. I guess that's my point. <laughs> Oh, damn it. Stuff coming in from everywhere. It's almost inevitable to lose a life from time to time in this. You're so conscientious of your surroundings in this game. 
Ah, Curly Man, how you doing, brother? Good to see you again. Good to see you in YouTube land, my friend. What's going on? How was the rest of your weekend? Thank you to everyone else who's just entered the room. Got some people to talk to now. Even if you guys keep quiet, I'll just talk. It's all good, I like to talk. There we go. Losing a few lives already, kind of losing my touch. I had a, a big can of Rockstar to help me get through my gaming sessions today, and it just hasn't worked for whatever reason. I think I need to catch up on more sleep or something. Oh, Raw 25. I was just saying that before you entered the room to everyone else who was in here. And, uh, yeah. I'm so looking forward to it. It's going to be freaking awesome. Here we go. Draw. I wonder if Hogan's going to come back. I'm, 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 that's probably... I mean, he's not been advertised, but I just wonder if he's going to be a big surprise return. You just don't know, hey. Actually, if Hogan comes back, I don't know how he's going to be received, to be honest. Obviously, because, uh, I mean, a uh, uh, racist comments are a big is issue, you know what I mean? So if he comes back, uh, yeah, I don't know if he's going to get cheered or booed. It's an interesting dynamic in that one as well. Oh, crap. Could it get up there? So oh, damn it. There we go, got him. <laughs> you got me. Give me guys. The bonus level. <sighs> oh, I missed, missed the first one already. Oh, it's gonna be one of those days, is it? There we go, finally got my eye in here. Oh, I missed another one. I'm doing better now that they're faster. Maybe that's what the problem was. I just go too slow for me. Okay, now they're going a bit too quick for me. <laughs> He's going to try your luck, basically. Yeah, I, 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 they did bring out a statement, but, you know, I mean, they obviously want to keep Hogan as a big surprise if they do bring him back. So I think they were going to say that regardless. So I kind of smell, I smell something fishy there. Because that wasn't a flat-out no, was it? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just such, I'm just that conspiracy theory guy. <laughs> hey, Chris. Good morning, my friend. How you doing? And uh, good morning, Kevin. Good to see you too, brother. Thanks for coming in. Hope you guys are all well. Just got a little stream happening here on uh, YouTube before we get started on um, Facebook for the day. So we'll be going back and forth. Be pretty exciting, I think. There we go. Yeah, I'm good, Chris. Thank you, man. Just, uh... Just trying to wake up still. I've been awake for hours, but for some reason, my body's not, uh, cooperating with me today. <laughs> I'm just feeling very, very flat. It was a big weekend, though. What have you guys been up to? How's, how's uh, your Monday looking? Let's get up here. Yeah, playing the arcade version today. I, I, t I tried to do the Super Nintendo version pretty recently, and I, I just don't rate it. Like, uh, it looks nice, but I just feel like the arcade version plays a lot better. It just feels smoother. Ah, oh, man, sorry to hear, Kev. Expl explains why I haven't seen you, man. I hope everyone's okay. 
rock call when that happens, bro. And with all the weather you guys have had at the moment, I can totally understand why that's uh, the case for sure. You in deep, big trouble. There we go. Oh, we're gonna go up and down with this dude, don't we? Oh crap. <laughs> Come on, sucker. Oh crap. Just ran right into that. Get up there. <laughs> I never remember having this much trouble with him. I am using Bob though. In a while. Oh, I was only shooting. I think if I shoot the horse, the horse would just topple off, wouldn't you? <laughs> oh. Ah, oh, crap. It's just. Man, I'm just running into everything. <laughs> I'm trying to be careful, it's just not working out. Oh, crap. Got him, finally. <laughs> Yeah, good to hear, brother. I'm glad to hear. Straight from one boss battle to another, I think. You now. All right, ma'am. Oh, those terrible men! Please help. All right, ma'am. Don't worry about it. All right, ma'am. <laughs> We're gonna blow you away. Yeah, yeah. Why would you touch this girl? Does she give you a weapon? Yeah, I thought she might. Hugs, kisses, and weapons. Great combo. <laughs> I'm just gonna run back and forth like this, I think. Oh man. Just have to keep moving around and be patient. Easier said than done, I know. Oh, I got one. Wow. I never usually get one without losing any health. That was incredibly lucky. Oh, I'll use this strategy from now on. Seems like staying down the bottom is a better option. Hell yeah! Makes up for the last boss battle. Yeah, it's kind of strange actually. Well, they had they had the Bucky O'Hare on the NES, but that was a completely different game, wasn't it? It's just a platformer. If you like if you like the franchise though, Bucky on the NES is still pretty decent. Just probably not what you'd expect. Okay, that's right, we're going to do the last four henchmen now. As you can see, Sunset Riders here isn't a massively big game. Okay, more weaponry. Great. Yeah, of course not. Usually the, the NES versions are completely different to their arcade counterparts. The only one that they got right really was the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game. Everything else is always different. <laughs> like there was no Simpsons game, but we got the crappy Space Mutants game instead. That gonna freaking blow up. It was like I was like waiting a lifetime for that some bitch. Oh come on. That, that felt incredibly cheap to be honest. <laughs> Hey, Sheila, how you doing? Good to see you. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, kind of like Contra, I guess you could... Well, yeah, it is like Contra in a sense. Uh, it was made by the same people as Contra, so... Uh, pretty interesting point you bring up. Kind of, kind of plays like a hybrid of a few things. It kind of plays like Contra, kind of plays like Rolling Thunder, Shinobi as well. Sort of a... Yeah, really is a hybrid of styles, I think. But yeah... Now that you've pointed it out, I see plenty of Contra in this, for sure. There we go. Yeah, it's another boss we just have to keep our distance from. You can actually touch him without dying, so you're just going to keep jumping and shooting, jumping and shooting. As long as you do that, you're going to have a good day. Good to see you. I hope you've been having a good weekend. It's Monday now, I just keep forgetting. Damn it. 
a bit clumsy there. Got him though, I'm pretty sure we almost got him. Oh. So as I always say guys, it's like these uh, Konami bosses, they always flash, and when they flash you think they're almost dead. And it's just so misleading because they still take another 100 hits. <laughs> oh, that was close, wasn't it? There we go, finally got the sucker. about this, it's going to be a bit tricky now, but... Oh wow. <laughs> that was alright, that's probably my best effort actually. The levels are usually harder than the actual bosses themselves. This boss is pretty easy. The boss afterwards could be tricky, but uh, you can do good or bad depending on how lucky you are. Uh, lately I haven't done too bad against the last boss. The game just sort of depends what form I'm in. <laughs> As you can see, that's not incredibly great form right there. Oh man, just running straight into stuff. Ugh. We're gonna climb this, don't we? Yeah, miss me. I think we had to climb that. Maybe I'm getting my games confused. So there's items that we can grab down near below, but I don't want to take the chance because I'll probably slip and die. So we're just gonna stay on this cage, I think. We're up to the boss already. It's not a very big level. Me ready for powwow. So uh, the, the 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 catch in this is like it's usually pretty easy to avoid his knives. You have to avoid his knives and keep at a distance from him as well, otherwise he'll slice you with a sword. So that's where it gets tricky when he ju jumps real close to you. And, uh, yeah, I'm going absolutely terrible today. This is usually one of the easiest bosses for me. It's one of those days, I guess. So far, so good. A little bit better. Rocky start. Oh, crap. That was close, wasn't it? That was way too close. Damn it. <laughs> oh man. Just getting a little bit impatient today, I think. Oh, I just missed it. Way too close. See what I mean, guys? He's been flashing orange for freaking ever. It's ridiculous. 
can only flash orange when he really is about to die. <laughs> oh, sucker. Please, please, don't shoot my brother. He's only following orders. All right, ma'am, we won't shoot him. Give me one second, guys. Sorry to be rude. There we go. Just had to make sure quickly, uh, make sure one, uh, Mrs. One Point only knew quickly that I was still alive, so forgive me for being so rude there, everyone. <laughs> this Pac-Man eating pods? What are those pod things called again? <laughs> Is that soap that everyone's eating? level to last one until that Please happens. Continue. <laughs> I think I was just enjoying the weapon that I actually had. How many quarters you guys all used when you used to play this back in the day? But here we go, we're up to the boss already. Okay, it's another tricky one, especially since you have to combat regular enemies as well. Let's give it our best. They keep respawning the tree. Oh man, it's really difficult. Oh, get a little bit lucky in some of these jumps at least. <laughs> oh, got real lucky there, didn't we? Fall off, damn you. Ah, oh, we got him. Sucker. <laughs> Hasta la bye bye. Ugh. timing of the bullets. Yeah, it's tricky. Not impossible, but, uh, yeah, sometimes he boxes you in, so you got to be careful. Sometimes there's no way to avoid him. But if you keep moving, he'll always shoot in different directions and kind of leaves you a little window. I don't know. I'll perfect this one day. It just hasn't happened yet. <laughs> Oh man, really? Ah, <sighs> oh, I missed the, missed the weapon too, didn't get it quick enough. Gosh, let's just get down from here. I don't like being up there. Grab a hold of that Gatling gun and shoot the fence down as quick as possible. Oh. Damn it. It's really hard to multitask when you're on that thing. <laughs> oh. Alright, we're getting there. We've got one more fence to blow up and then we're at the final boss. Just managed to avoid it. And we've got a new gun. This is freaking awesome. 
Let's wait for it. Can I shoot this down? There we go. Take that. Oh. Oh. Oh man. Oh, I missed all of them, really? Ah, oh, crap, I was trying to do the right thing. I'd have to respawn so much for. Oh, this is annoying. Let's just blow this thing up. Alright, done. We're out of here. Final boss battle. Damn it. tough. It's only this first bit that's initially tough until you get rid of the statues. And then yeah, you can at least move around and shoot them from all angles now. So we got this. I hope we got this. Oh crap, that was close, wasn't it? I don't know how I didn't jump into that. See, that was a bit lucky. Oh, <laughs> that's so lucky. That is so close. I'll take it. I'll take any time I don't die. <laughs> Come on, die SOB, die. Oh, this has been so close, man. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> yeah, once, you, once you know the rhythm for this guy, there are definitely bosses in this game that are tougher than this dude, that's for sure. What's annoying is uh, the little twist here is he's wearing bulletproof armor, so we're going to have to do him all over again. I don't think the second time takes as long though. Ah, oh, crap. Didn't time to jump properly. Oh, crap. See, I got lucky the first part, now I'm just feeling every single bullet. I oh, see, so you can't touch you in this version. Ah. Uh, I don't think you can buy this, but you can download it on, uh, you can download it at emuparadise.me. It's on the aim main emulator. It's on the main emulator, Chris. If you message me on my Facebook page later on, um, I'll give you the details, bro. Um, uh, it's a little bit too hard to explain here without writing everything to do down on, uh, YouTube. But if you message me, I promise I will reply. There we go, so enjoy the credits in this one, guys. Very solid game. And we've still got uh, Bucky O'Hare to come, so this is a double, guys, don't go anywhere. A quick stream, only hour to an hour and a half tonight, but we will be doing another YouTube stream today. This is, this is, really, this is really just the morning warm-up, I guess, if you want to put it that way. Alright, there you go, game number one guys. 
Uh, by the way, welcome if it's your first visit to OneCoin only. Please subscribe if you like our streams, guys. And I probably should have put the transmission screen up, but I didn't. Anyway, this is a program I'm using to run these. I'm using MAME 0.184. It's a great software. And load this here. Yeah, I might just increase this a little bit. Play the intro for you guys very quickly. All right, we're ready to go just about. Yeah, you're welcome, Chris. Happy to help everyone out. I'm not trying to hold out on anyone, but it's just a little bit tricky to explain on here. Might give you guys a little bit more volume for this one too. It's a little bit quiet. <laughs> there you go, just playing the cutscene. This game really feels like a comic book as well, which is really nice. It feels like the cartoon. I don't know what character we're going to use. I think we'll just stick with Bucky. Anyway, alright, let's insert those coins. Is it? Oh, okay. Now we'll insert the coins. Alright, ready to go. Yeah, we'll use Bucky. Stick to what you know. I apologize, Kevin, if I fail a lot in this game. I'm, I'm not very experienced at Bucky O'Hare at all. Just pulling it out for a bit of fun. Yeah, the cutscenes in this game are awesome. Yeah, everyone was telling me how much of a great uh, cartoon this was. I never saw it, unfortunately. I've only really been doing my research on this franchise uh, after people tell me stuff, really, to be honest. Uh, actually, one of our OneCoin only members got me onto this game, and I'm glad they did. What's all, compared to Sunset Riders, what's really cool about this, and what makes it a little bit similar to a beat-em-up, is uh, you actually get given a health bar. This game's a little less cutthroat, but obviously it's still challenging in a lot of other ways. Oh, what's the special attack again? I've got to remember. I press both buttons at the same time. Oh, it's just a punch. I don't know if that chews up any health. Let's have a look. No, it seems to be a free move. Okay, that's fine. Nice to know if one... Oh, what? Just jump into an electricity here. No problem. Can I shoot that door down? Oh, man, I've lost a life already. Screw this game. <laughs> Told you a bit of a Bucky O'Hare noob here. <laughs> Trying to work out what that on oh, there's life now. That'd be right, but I don't need it. Is there a charge attack you can do? Or not in this one. Don't forget Bomberman. I'm just trying to think of a good Bomberman to stream. Like, Bomberman... Bomberman's a good game to do a video, but maybe not so much for a stream, but we'll see. Well, I'll try and include it somewhere. Bomberman's such a timeless classic. I want to get it to work. I just want to see if I can find a way that everyone will enjoy it. I think this boss is pretty easy. Just basic dodging here. Oh, okay, so he can charge you. Oh, it's all over already? Oh, quick and easy, that one. 
you do to my people, alligator? Yeah, let my people go. <laughs> Captain Bucko's fixing to fry your scales, Negator. Better talk. Go and kill some toads. I'm hoping so. <laughs> That's the idea. Again, this this is the one this this game is just so vibrant and colourful, I love it. If anything, the art style is freaking awesome. Interesting uh sort of like two and a half D level here. You don't normally play games that scroll like sort of in this direction. It's uh, pretty unique. There we go. I'm trying to avoid all the fire. Oh, we're getting there. Just trying to be patient here. There we go. Sucker. Oh. Because we stayed alive for a little while, the weapon we've got now is absolutely freaking awesome. That's right, we need to duck back and forth from here, don't we? Alright. Miss me, bish. <laughs> oh, that's right, they go back and forth. Try and remember that. <sighs> Crap. Oh, we got him. No problem, guys. We got this. Uh, this is the same as Sunset Riders. So I told you about Sunset Riders and I told you about Bucky O'Hare. Um, when you message me later on, brother, I'll point you in the right direction. They're both downloaded from exactly the same source. So uh, I can help you out, man. There's no problem. I'll uh, pass on everything over at uh, Facebook for you. There we go. Yeah, take that sucker. <laughs> oh boy. Again, it's... Oh, we got, got away from him. Lucky. These bosses are always so much easier than the actual levels themselves. Ah, oh, crap. Get out of it. Oh, that really hurt. We got him. Hey, Josh, good to see you again. We're having a good run today. I was a little bit up and down when we played Sunset Riders, but it looks like we're doing a little bit better here so far in Bucky O'Hare. But, uh, yeah, it doesn't take long for the difficulty to ramp up, though, so don't want to rest on those laurels. <laughs> Thank you, everyone else who's just joined us. Hope you're having a great day, great start to your Monday. This is our first stream for the day on one point only. Uh, this is your first time here, guys. Please subscribe. And uh, feel free to say hello. We're friendly here. No trolls zone we are. Social stream. Hey Kozuko, thanks for thanks for coming in. How are you doing today? I don't think we've spoken before. Hope you're well. Kozuku, I hope I pronounced that right, Kozoku. Or I can call you whatever you want me to call you, it's all good. <laughs> Ah, 
Ah, gotcha, Josh. Flying under the radar there. Nice, nice. Ah. The more you play these games and the more practice you have, the more addictive they become because you just want to challenge yourself more. But trust me, guys, it, it looks like I'm doing well, but this game's going to uh, get really, really difficult fast. <laughs> kind of helps that we have the best gun at the moment, though. Uh, this thing's really, really strong. Okay. Oh, this, 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 this puzzle is really, really tricky, too. Get out of here. Alright, we're done. Oh, crap. Is that it? Ah, oh, man, that's, you know what? That's a good question. There's just thousands of games out there. And I want to play as many as possible. Um, but, I mean, obviously there's some games that I've not heard of or learned how to play. So, um, the best answer I can give you is as the team grows, it'll give me more chance to practice some games and to uh, extend our library a little bit. Right now, right now we're pretty much operating solely as a, a one-person brand. Uh, so yeah, just give us a chance to grow and expand, and uh, we'll definitely be adding a lot more more games to the library. That's probably the most honest, mon honest answer I can give you. Our library's already pretty big, but I mean, it can only grow more and more, you know? Ah, crap. I'm going to take out the toad. <laughs> Can't remember this boss. Yeah, nice. Yeah, a lot of people here at one point only like anime and manga, so uh, there's definitely a market for it, that's for sure. I'm surprised I haven't played more Dragon Ball Z games. I think we're going to have to get into that soon as well. Oh, crap. I'm gonna get the sucker. I like that the patterns on the most part in these bosses are just very basic common sense. Okuzoku, it's no problem, man. I just thought I'd tell you a little bit more about us. In the end, this channel is for you guys, and uh, all the suggestions help me out, so, uh. Thank you, Josh, I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, sounds good, man. Good work, Jack. Always time for Dragon Ball Z. Keep, keep your suggestions for games coming, guys. I don't want you to think you're ever being ignored. Um, but again, it's just the fact that I'm by myself and I'm still working out what uh, people want to see. And I don't know, there's a, there's a lot in it without sounding pretentious or anything. But uh, suggestions are always appreciated, so don't think you're being ignored, ignored guys, at all. Oh. Ah, damn. I think I've got one more life left. I think if I have to use a continue, I'll lose this really, really good gun. So I'm going to make this last for as long as possible. How do you use the bomb? I've never used the bomb. Oh. I didn't even know there was a... Oh, there we go. That's right, there's a, a secondary... I forgot there's a third button in this game. I rarely use it, though. Oh. He got these suckers. Are we supposed to blow this thing open or I can't remember? Oh, damn. Struggling a little bit here. Oh there we go. Please help me. Oh, that looks kind of nice. All 
Oh man. Gonna keep using Bucky. Oh no, we still got our gun. Well, that's a relief. I thought you lose your weapon sometimes. I don't get it. Well, that's all good. Yeah, I love how much this streaming uh, business is starting to, to grow. Like, so many people are, are streaming games now, and more and more retro streamers are appearing. And, uh,. Man, you can all, you, you can, people just love nostalgia, it's as simple as that, and, uh, yeah, the more people turn up, the better it's going to be for the industry, so it's an exciting time for us, for sure, for both creators and viewers. I never get sick of watching the old games. Just reminds me of my days when I was too small to play them, I used to watch all the big kids play them at the arcade. Oh, crap. <laughs> Is this a boss or a mini boss? Not sure. Looks like a boss. There we go. Please go to yeah, the they're, they're, they're still being developed. Like, yeah. I've heard about all that stuff. Uh, have you heard of the new invention that's being uh, kickstarted, the um, NES Maker? Now, that's going to be really interesting. You, you might have heard of RPG Maker. Well, they've got an NES Maker coming, which is very, very similar, and you can make your own 8-bit games and then put them on cartridge. And uh, that's going to be absolutely amazing. I'm, I think I'm going to be on that quite a lot. <laughs> so it's it's going to come out. It's just, It's not if, but when. I want to make my own Double Dragger game on uh, NES Maker. Or some side-scrolling beat-em-up. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. So good. There we go, got the sucker. Oh, <sighs> boy. There's just some games that will forever hold up, you know what I mean, Josh? Like, I could play, like, Legend of Zelda all the time. I'll, I, I challenge myself to just get a quicker time every time I play it, and it just stays fresh and fun for me for whatever reason. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, Dragon Warrior game? That's a franchise I never got into, unfortunately. Um, not because I don't, not because it's not a good game, but because I just missed the boat on it. Man, there's so many Dragon Warriors games though, isn't there? Yeah, that would be freaking awesome. Imagine making a Streets of Rage game. Look, the way I put it is if uh, they make an NES maker, it's only a matter of time before you get a Genesis maker. You know what I mean? I mean, it, it could be five years away or whatever, but uh, it'll happen, surely. Oh, damn it. I <laughs> just walked straight into that one. Here we go. Oh, boy. Oh. <laughs> Shoots pretty quick. I'm gonna keep dodging up and down. Oh, they're homing missiles. Okay, be a bit more careful here. Oh, I was hoping there'd be a little shortcut I could take to. Damn it! Uh, this this boss is a lot trickier.
go. Take that. Oh boy. I love those little uh, interdimension doors that keep opening up. It's a nice touch. Uh, I was thinking of playing Kid Icarus today, Chris. But I haven't 100% decided yet. Um, I want to play something really complicated and complex, but I'm still really exhausted after the weekend. I've put in a lot of hours with DJing, so I'm still recovering on uh, sleep and stuff. So I want to keep streaming all day for you, but I want to play games that aren't going to stress me out too much. And uh, you might think that's ironic that I say Kid Icarus, but... I'm actually okay at Kid Icarus. That game relaxes me. <laughs> it's probably the weirdest thing you'll ever hear anyone say when it comes to Kid Icarus. <laughs> we'll see how we go. But uh, yeah, 10 minutes after we're finished here, we'll, we'll jump on Facebook. I'll just have a quick drink, turn on the aircon, and uh, we'll get started. Get at me, sucker. Oof. Can I play Eco the Dolphin? I mean, I could play Eco the Dolphin, but I suck at the Eco the Dolphin game, so it's not going to be fun for anyone to watch me play a game uh, that I suck at, so I'll, I'll have to have a practice first, my brother. I'm not familiar with the game very well. Uh, maybe Retro Y can do it for us. Maybe he knows how to play Eco. I'll ask him if he can stream it. He knows a lot more of those kind of games than I do. Yeah, this guy's not too difficult. Just gonna just basic dodging again by the looks of it. Moves a lot quicker than the other bosses that I've fought so far though. Again, in typical Konami form here, he flashes orange miles before he's beaten. It's just so freaking misleading. <sighs> no, you've got him. We are much obliged. You have saved our planet and our tribes. I can't remember how many levels are in this. But there are many planets out there that have been polluted. There is only one way to restore the planets. Send back the planetary life force stored in the Toad Star to the surface. In the Toad Star. Jeez, that's not a, that's, that's not a Star Wars reference, is it? <laughs> Just keep coming, Captain. What are we gonna do? Mother ship. Okay, well, when you see mother and ship in the same line, you can tell you're getting pretty close to the end of the game, I think. Hold the auto fire button here. Oh, do I have to jump on these? Oh, I wasn't sure what the instructions were trying to tell me there. All right, we'll just keep just keep shooting everything. Oh, so we could. I don't know. I think we're I think we're past there anyway. It's another tricky sucker of a level. Oh, 
man. Oh boy. Slowly finding the rhythm here. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. Oh, die. Die. <laughs> Finally. Is that it? Oh, that's a relief. Alright, we're out of here. figured out the patterns for this level. I sort of don't know what I'm doing here. It's the first section I've really struggled with. Yeah, I'm just losing life after life here. I hope this bit's over soon. I hate it. <laughs> Not sure how I'm supposed to kill these things. I think, I think they don't hurt me when I bump into them, only when they shoot me. Alright, cool, we're out of here. I hope. Ah, oh, man, another coin. Got my head down here, guys. Just got my concentration face on. <laughs> Alright, done. Oh boy. Mission accomplished! Yeah, come on, me bucko. Let's go fight a war off a few dozen more of them fly munching toadies! I'll atomize mammal mush and mangle their mammal bones! Alright, this must be the last one. There you go, they've even got propaganda on the televisions there. Damn it, I'm trying to avoid everything. It's so freaking tough. Now, there we go. We can auto fire with this thing now. It's pretty cool. Easy. Yeah, man, I'll, I'll uh, bring it up with Retro Y today and I'll see if he's happy to stream that game. I think that'd be something he's better at than what I am. And people want to see Eco the Dolphin, that's such a, a classic, but I'd, I'd just rather you guys see someone that actually knows how to play it. I can't even get past the freaking first level, I don't think. <laughs> Let's 
little bit claustrophobic here. It's hard to avoid anything. Can we blow up those turrets? I think we can. Ah, get out of it. Ah, oh, so freaking hard to avoid stuff here. It's just, this is just designed to eat your quarters. <laughs> oh man, finally. Oh, come <laughs> You saw how well I did at the start of the game, guys. Now I'm being absolutely humbled. Told you this was going to happen. Oh no, that's okay. Yeah, Vi Viper's Fury, Expert Gaming, all great dudes, part of the, the Retro Gaming Alliance, Josh. Um, Viper always does a, a great selection of games, both old school and new school. Um, so yeah, legit man, he's definitely worth checking out. I'm glad you went there. Streams quite often too. Oh. <laughs> Aston, I'm trying my brother, it's not as easy as it looks my friend, <laughs> it's not like I'm deliberately walking into him, <laughs> I don't think you realise how claustrophobic this level is. We beat this boss already before didn't we? Ah oh, damn it, get out of it. Yeah, I'm kind of jealous actually, because I was planning to do Resident Evil over the next couple days, Josh, and he beat me to it, so I'm going to have to find something else. Maybe I'll do Dino Crisis instead or something. Never is easy. Yeah, you got that right, Aston. You got that right, brother. <laughs> this is a coin muncher. To well, this game has been... The first half of this game was really easy, as I said, and then we get into this final level here, and uh, I'm just getting absolutely screwed. <laughs> I see, I can't avoid anything. It's just everything's just so close, and. I don't know, I'll work it out. I hope. Ah, uh, see, I'm trying to avoid him. And you can't even bump into him, that's frustrating. I'm holding on by a thread here. <laughs> What's that coin do? I don't even know what the coin does. I'll oh, go with it. Oh boy. Yeah, we're getting there. We're making this last little bit of health last. <laughs> Damn it. And yet another credit. Oh man, I appreciate your honesty, Aston. You make me feel a little bit better, bro. <laughs> Yeah, uh, if you, if you uh, we've played it, uh, so Kuzoku, if you look at our long play section on our YouTube, there's actually a long play of the Sailor Moon game, so you can see the whole thing. So check it out. We've actually done a long play, long play a couple weeks ago. Just look at the aim, look at the arcade long play section, and uh, you'll find it there. And it wasn't bad. I mean, it's not the best beat 'em up I've played, but it's definitely above average. Oh. <laughs> oh, damn, sucker got me.
Can I shoot him while he's in the air or do I have to wait for him to land? I'm trying to find his shadow. I hate flying enemies, they suck. Ah. Well, he certainly can hit me while he's in the air. Gosh, there's just too much going on, isn't there? Oh, man. Oh, cool, that's over. That can't be over. We're going to take him on still, don't we? There must be another level. Observe, most gracious Captain Bucky O'Hare, sir. That's the planetary life source that Rodent the old mouse was talking about. We've got to return the planetary life force to each planet. <laughs> Bucky, me boy. All 20 of me fingers, it's itching to raise a bunch of lumps on a bunch of toad knockings. Okay, so this must be the last one. That's right, we're going to shoot this thing or something, don't we? Oh yeah, I want the gun. Let's power up this son bitch. <laughs> That's right, so we're gonna shoot this thing in the middle, do we? Is it like the core or something? Yeah, I don't know, I guess I'm getting my games confused. <laughs> I like that you can stay suspended in the air for a bit, it helps you avoid stuff. Might have to try and go on the other side of him. Yeah, now we've got plenty of room. That's pretty quick. I'm sure that's not his final form. Oh crap. <laughs> it's all happening. Okay, got the sucker. Oh man. Absolutely, Chris. Yes, we will. I can give you a definite yes on that. We've already done the Sega Genesis version. Uh, we'll play the Super Nintendo version too, man. Finally, a game I can say absolutely 100% yes to. <laughs> we'll do it this week for you, Chris. There you go. We found something. So, no problem at all, my man. Oh, I'm just trying to remember it now, Josh. I used to play Diablo 3 all the time, but it's been a while. <sighs> Is that it? Again, I love the comic book style in this, it is really awesome.
keep saying comic book style when I'm meaning uh, cartoon style. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. There we go. That's a nice ending. Nice ending credits here too. We'll just play them out. By the way, thank you everyone who's joined us tonight. If this is your first time to our one point only, welcome. Uh, we're going to be doing a live stream on here at least once a day, hopefully twice a day. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and tell your friends about us, guys. We're really trying, we're driving to 1,000k subscribers at the moment, and we're pushing as quick as we can to get to that 1k mark. So if you could share the word about our page, that'd be absolutely awesome. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, nice. Hey, Benny, how you doing, man? Thanks for coming in. Just about done on here, brother, but we're going to be streaming on Facebook uh, in 15, 20 minutes as well. So we're going back and forth all day. Just going to have a quick drink, turn this air conditioning on. My room's starting to become a furnace. Feels like one of your barbecues, my friend. <laughs> Thanks for all the likes and the attention as well, guys. Really appreciate it. That all all helps our growth. So thanks a bunch. Um, so yeah, guys, if you could subscribe, that'd be great. I'll just pull up our social media very quickly. We've also got Twitter, which we're getting more involved with. Um, we've also got the One Coin Only Facebook, which you can catch us on as well. And we've also got the clothing store, OneCoinOnlyShop.com. You can grab yourself a tee or a hoodie if you like, guys. And the small amount of money we make here does help fund us to operate full time. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much, guys. We're going to end things there. Uh, but we'll do another stream again in a few hours. So until then, guys, be good. And thank you very much for your company.